Beautiful day. Sun's popping out a little bit. And when the grass looks that pretty, it's hard not to, it's hard not to fish it. Even keel guy, from what I've seen on your videos and stuff. Gosh. <laughs> that stinks is both my cameras are <laughs> Are they go are they out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well we finally broke the ice. <laughs> Gosh. Good morning everyone, James Nigemeyer here. Today I'm on a East Texas Lake, a power plant lake, and I'm on the water with a new friend and actually met him through the YouTube community through Ken Smith. Ken Ken Smith uh, fishing his YouTube channel. And this is Lou and he's from Beyond the Bounds and he's got a great youtube channel tons of content on varying topics all things bass fishing tournament stuff it's it's great it's a great channel so go over there and check that out i'll actually put a link into it in in the description so you guys can get over there and check that out but we're we're on the water today we're just gonna go fishing and have fun we're we're actually just meeting each other for the very first time so this is <laughs> this is kind of cool we're just gonna go fishing see what we can catch and uh we ask you guys to come on and enjoy the ride yeah, i'm looking forward to it thanks for the invite man yeah yeah this is great no thanks for taking me out my boat's not quite done yet and uh so we were wondering how we're gonna get out on the water and Lucy says we'll just take my boat so <laughs> here we go he's actually from texas originally but now he's living in maryland so we'll have a lot of great things to talk about because i love fishing in the north country because you catch a lot of fish you do yeah. if you can ever make it up there to like new york during the new york is so underrated as far as like fishing i mean it's, it's a kept secret almost which is weird 100 percent agree 100 percent awesome agree fishing up there yeah well let's get after it let's do it okay it just look at that big old nutria he was probably in the center of that I never caught one in here, but we can catch it. That'd be a good video. That would be a good video. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice loop. Oh, oh donkey. <laughs> Golly. That's Pretty what fish. We're here for, guys. Gosh, that's that's got to be pushing five right that there. Was right in that same mat I caught, I like almost the same cast I did. Really? The other day, and I caught one that big. Way to go! Woo! Way to go! I'm gonna see if there's another one in there. You know, sometimes they'll they'll uh, piled up together. Boy, he was in the thickest of the mat. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right there, guys. Oh, that's advanced, you know, grass angling right there. Yeah, what Maybe they call that they pile up like that. I think yours. Yeah. I think yours could eat mine, though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> what they in Texas would call a scrape. When you get in there, they get schooled up like that. Loser pretty has fish. To roadkill. Golly, that's a pretty one. Oh man, that's that one's thick. Beautiful fish, Lou. Throw them in or, or yeah, yeah. Maybe little. get a picture later. All right. You, this guy's not 18 inches. I'll put him back. But if you want to catch a lot, stay up north. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> Honestly, I really feel like there's part of the reason Kevin's as good as he is is because I think in most places that he goes fishing up north like in Michigan, probably in his early years, if he didn't catch 20, 30 fish a day, that was a bad day. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, and no, and you you can learn a lot like that. Oh, this is the way I work my bait. This is the way I set the hook. This is the way I, I mean, catching fish is really important. And I, honestly, I feel like catching fish of any species can be really valuable. Do you get a bite? Oh, it jumped. It looked it. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> I was like, your line jumped. Find him out. Find him, find him to pull out. <laughs> well, it started running out, and I was like, no, nah, it just released, and then it popped. As I thought as we were looking at it. Yeah, I thought it just, I didn't know if it bit jumped because it was a bite or because it hit the bottom. You know, sometimes when it hits the bottom, it'll, right. you know. Yep. Pretty fish. <laughs> Way to go, man. Hey, 
Golly, that guy was. Oh, <laughs> he's hot. <laughs> oh, he's better than I thought he was. Pretty one there. Gosh, look at. I just. One of the things I always marvel at, and it doesn't matter how many of these I catch, when they're in the grass like that, mm -hmm. they're just like. They're perfect. They're like without blemish. You know? They're just so thick. All right. We're having to just hunt and pack, but they're here, right? Oh no! All right, I'm going back in. I'm going back in. I was like, they gotta be in here. That was all right. That one looked good. There you go. Oh yeah. What's that on? Woo. That was way out there. That was at the end of the cast, wasn't it? Holy smokes! You need a hand with him? Looks like a good one. Got heavier as he got here. Oh yeah, just a stocky chunker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! On the board again. Nice. Do they make them in any other sizes here? <laughs> Piggin size. <laughs> God, that's, that's awesome. That's good, though. Yep. Yep. From this area, around Greenville, Texas. Name your favorite lake. Favorite lake. Has to be Champlain. Lake Champlain, that's a good uh, one. It's just good, good fishing, easy to fish, kind of good to pattern fish. You got, you got small mouths <laughs> and uh, large, large mouth. You know, uh -huh. plenty, plenty of big fish, big bite up there too. If that's what you're into. Yeah, I know. Um, when I was on Billy Lawson's uh, Your Lake Fork Guide YouTube channel, he asked me, okay, if you could go anywhere, where would you go? I said, upstate New York. And he was like, what? And I said, no, I'm serious. That's the fishing up there is absolutely amazing, whether it's small mouths or large mouths. <laughs> it's, it's just it's just amazing. I love it there. All right. Favorite technique? Uh, what we're doing right now. Flipping. Flipping and pitching. Yep. Like heavy grass or just flipping and pitching, period? Flipping and pitching, period. You know, if I can find nice uh, cover, uh -huh. uh, which I like to call structure a lot of times, but still it's cover. Um, you know, but wood, lay downs, things like that. I'm really working on my offshore game a lot more. It's, it's trying to get off the Potomac and, and go to different lakes and just expand that. But yeah, definitely flip it. Anytime you get to rail back on some heavy braid, heavy flipping hook, it's, you're hauling them out of there, drag squealing. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. you, you're a man after my own heart. I'm <laughs> telling you. Um, let's see here. Spinner bait or buzz bait? You had to have one. Spinner bait. Spinner bait. Yep. Good choice. Good choice. I do love a buzz bait though. I really do. <laughs> you might have had some good luck on one, uh, or you know, just recently. <laughs> Not too long ago. Not too long ago. Okay, smallmouth or largemouth. 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 Yeah. I mean, smallmouth they can get so you know plentiful, and you know they they're they're fun to catch, fun to video game. Uh, but I mean, eh, large mouth. Yeah. Large mouth. I, yeah. What tournaments are you competing in in 2020? In 2020, I am planning to do the Northeast Division and maybe some of the Shenandoah Division, uh, BFLs, uh, maybe at least one coast up on Champlain. Well, and you fin finished what fourth at uh, fifth. Champlain, fifth this year? Mm -hmm. At no, last year, 2019 on 2019. Champlain. I kind of answered this question before, but treble hook baits or single hook baits? And you like single hook baits. Yeah, yeah. single hook. It's amazing how many, how those fish can get off of them. You know, six hooks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely. Angling hero. Ooh, angling hero. That's a tough one, man. Fans of Thrift, Polinick, uh, shoot. It's hard not to be a fan of Thrift. Yeah. And Polinick, what he's done in 10 years is pretty amazing. Yeah. KVD, uh, I mean, again, yeah, all the... All the, the normal guys. Yeah, the big game. <laughs> big, big namers up there. Yeah. Okay, non-angling hero. Non-angling hero. Uh, that would definitely be my mom. That yeah. just such a good relationship with my mom. You know, That's awesome. Dealt, she dealt with uh, adversity growing up and... Being a single mom at times, raising me, and then you know, it just yeah, definitely. And she likes to fish too. And she likes fish. She That's great. <laughs> if last question, if you only had one lure, what would it be and why? Uh, Texas rig. Texas rig. Yep. 
That's a good one. You know, and, a lot of people don't talk about Texas rigs anymore. It's always like swim baits and this bait, jerk baits, spy bait, you know, just different things that are new on the scene. But the reality is the Texas rig catches them every day. Yep. And, and you can go across the country and catch them on, on that. And it works everywhere. There's, I mean, you can you can swim a worm, whether it be a zoom uh, speed worm. Mm -hmm. uh, you can flip it. You can pitch it. You can punch it. Yeah, you just... You do everything. With yeah. That. You drag like it. every species. Yeah. Swim it. It's going to work everywhere. Yeah. No, that's a good one. There it is. Woo! Experimented with the uh, solar uh, entry. There you go. I was uh, I've been kind of plopping it in there and I was like, you know what? I know even just the other day, like it's a little bit more subtle, so I want to focus on that. Until there, yeah. golly! <laughs> the gosh, you're just so thick. You know, I hopped it and it went too, just like a jig bite. Yeah, there might be another one right in there. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Gosh, thick, beautiful fish. Wow, I'm gonna need a new bait. That's probably the most aggressive fish I've bite I've had today. They seem to all be, yeah. There we go. Nice. <laughs> right off the wood. Bingo. Dude, they're just tanks, aren't they? They are. Hell, that hurts. <laughs> we have had some chunker rooskies today. Hey, man. <laughs> Quality tournament size fish. Well, Whoa, and he's, he's mad, isn't he? 